Insomni here back with Team Wilder. So we're gonna go ahead and do our summons just like we do at the beginning of all the videos. First of all, I wanna welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much for all your support, all the comments. Yes, almost did get eaten on the last video. So that was to get up our ascended, or not our ascended, our um, mythic Eron. And we actually did get a few more of our essence so we're gonna go ahead and get him up as far as he can he is the only hero that has the signature item unlocked and his signature item is super powerful damage the ability uh, elemental surge with it which is his ultimate is increased against frozen enemies by I believe it's 30% at this level so he is our super strong tank at this point his gear is almost completely maxed out so let's go ahead I did the same thing as I did on all the accounts. I pushed the tower significantly, so we got 17 gems there. Quite a few uh, wilder heroes in there, which is nice. Hopefully with the stones, we can pull at least one wilder, which we get a Rosaline, and it looks like a Kel'thar. So great for the faction tower, but not for this team. I have been saving my keys as well, so we'll go ahead and use them to hopefully pull those 40 rare cards. People were saying to go for the corners first. Corners didn't seem to matter. I have not pulled this on any accounts yet. It looks like I'm not gonna do it this time either. So continuing to bank the keys, no luck there, but let's go ahead and get into the summons. Always do, uh, we'll do the, do the faction summon first. I pulled my uh, five faction scrolls right out of the Voyage of Wonders which was nice, I actually just completed a little bit ago. So quite a few rare cards here, which is good, and an elite, which is another Gorvo. I wish I would have kept Almus or Cirrus, because upon further review, Gorvo might not have been the best choice to keep, and though I really wanted to see him and I wanted to see the shields, um, I think we're probably just gonna keep him where he's at right now instead of getting him leveled all the way up. Maybe ascended in the future, but might be a little bit. And we got our second elite there, Hope for a Wilder. Should we get a Belinda? Not too bad. Seems like I've been pulling a lot of her. I've been pulling a lot of Sophia, and I've been pulling a lot of <clears throat> Rosalines. So we got an Ogie there, which is good. Getting up some more food. So we got a couple more heroes. I believe I do have a couple that I could take to Mythic, but I just need one or two heroes, so I'm hopefully out of here. So we'll go ahead and do our Auto Ascend. So Gorvo, we have another copy of there. Got a Belinda, got a Rosline. So let's go ahead and continue the summons, and we will get a card out of this one, which would be nice. So we're guaranteed another Wilder, and we have another Elite there, which is Laika. Very nice. We have a lot of copies of Laika now. So if we can get her up, I believe she's one that we might have enough copies to actually take to Ascended if we can get enough food for the rest of the team. And we might have enough for another Elite Soul Stone as well. So we'll check that out before we do our campaign push. But I feel like this team's gonna be super, super solid just for the fact that they have the only hero. And that's where I've been getting all of my emblems from is just from summoning them out there. So let's see about our Wilder card. Hopefully it's an Eron, would be nice. Probably a Cirrus. Eron, very nice. All right, so let's see what we got here. So we'll go ahead and auto ascend, which we did get another copy of Laika. Smart Ascend is gonna give us double Ogi, which is good, because we can go ahead and get him to Elite Plus. So let's see what we got going on with the Wilder team. Hoping to get Laika up, which I can. Very, very nice. I need her damage on this team. And that way I can get her level up. Uh, this team's been stuck at the 140 level. So that is good. We have, looks like not much else in the way of food right now. Still need those rare wilder cards. So we're gonna stay where we're at because we used Cirrus last time uh, to get Eron up. So Eron's actually gonna stay where he's at because we don't have anyone to eat. Um, I've been running Eron, I've been running Namora, Gorvo, uh, Lorzen, and I've been running it with Laika. So that's that's the team comp that I'm going to stick with. So unfortunately not much out of that summoning event, but did get a couple cards that I need. Unfortunately no rare cards. 
uh, didn't pull the 40 rare cards, so we'll go ahead, I'll get them all geared up, I'll get them all leveled up, and then we will start the campaign push. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the campaign push. They are in 12-21. Uh, the uh, Greyborn team is right behind them. The other two teams actually pushed into Chapter 13. I was trying to get Lords into 141. I'm a little bit shy on the experience, but I did get Leica up, as you can see there, 141. So this is going to be a very solid team. And I know Eron's doing a lot of damage, but taking a lot of damage from the Ascended Isabella. And he's doing the 30% uh, extra damage when his ultimate ability uh, hits a frozen target. So he slows them and then he freezes them. So it's kind of a good combination. And getting the boost off the bat with the haste and the energy from Laika is really nice. Especially with her being legendary plus. Ups her damage quite a bit. Lowers and does a bit, bit of damage. One thing that I have noticed about this team is kind of lacking Tassie here. Haven't seen, uh, I think I have one copy of her and that's all I've seen. So I think possibly even within this future is putting Eron in the back middle. Um, swap in probably Nomura to one of the top slots. Which I might actually try that now. Just because I do like the positioning of him right here because he can actually pull the tanks. Um, Leica up front might not be a good idea. I know a lot of people do use her in front because she is pretty strong, especially with the dodge. But my problem here is... <clears throat> If you've noticed, Iran keeps getting stunned off the bat. So he can't do his uh, actual pull where he pulls all three of the enemies together because of the sun. And here it's kind of vicious because you get stuck with Brutus in the back line. So not really ideal, but he did get charm there, which is nice. I have nothing to kind of counter his immunity short of Namora trying to heal us through it. So I think this team's going to be able to, they should be able to move to Chapter 13. And Lorzen goes down right away there. This is the part we have, uh, I think, Silvana in most of them. So Lorzen's going to do his uh, fair share of dying pretty much every pull that we do. Because she pops right over. Got a heal off on that one, so that's good. Should be all right, this one. And Eron is by far one of the top tiered tanks. I'm working on my uh, tier list right now. Two things that were requested from all my viewers were a tier list. So coming up with a tier list of the top heroes. And I'm not sure if I want to do it by faction, just because that's kind of what I'm doing with the accounts. Or if I wanted to do it by class, so we could do like the top tier for tanks. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it. And tier lists are difficult because it's super, super subjective to the heroes you pull. If I pull a lot of copies of Gorbo or pull a lot of copies of Eron like I did, um, like a Belinda that I have on the other accounts, they're going to be kind of the top heroes. Maybe not endgame, but early on getting used to them. Like even here, I've noticed a lot of uh, a lot with Gorvo. He moves around a lot, kind of like uh, Kasos does, where if he's in the tanking position, he leaves the position. Um, Anna Tandra that does the same, kind of leaves the position. She'll actually go to the back line of the enemy, so leaving your back line kind of exposed. And with the Wilder team, they have no counter for Brutus. Pretty much at this point, it's a, it's a pretty tough shot bringing them all together. Just because I don't want them to whirlwind the whole back line. But look at the CC. I mean, even on Golas, he just stays CC'd the whole time. And that's what makes him so powerful as a tank. Is that if you're CCing three of the five targets, I mean, even combining him with, let's say, a Falks or a Tassie, to where they're going to get uh, more of a banish off. It'll be super strong. And then you do have Namora who is charming. Just a super solid team. 
Neron's been getting his five kills pretty much every battle. Just like on the Light Bearer team where Belinda did for most of the battles. But when it's three heroes like that, they're a uh, Savius is so strong in the back. But when the heel goes off, that's pretty much it. Because the more will charm him a lot of time. And if there's nobody even to attack, he just stands there charmed. Similar to a root. So I wish I would have uh, kept Almus or Cirrus. I think Cirrus would have been probably the best option. So in the future, I think he's one hero that I'm going to look to keep. I hear his combination with Namora with the survivability and the CC. Um, Almus very strong too. But both of the heroes I can buy from the shop. So eventually I'll have them back where Gorval I cannot. But I like testing out Gorval. I like his shields and his, <clears throat> his CC stun that he did right there. But I think as we get further into, into the campaign, he does leave the back line um, open significantly. And Lorzen just continues to get just dominated from Silvana right in the back. Wondering if it would even be worth it to put Lorzen in the front. Uh, just that way Iran will take her right off him soon as uh, he goes to the front. So that might actually be an option. Let me see one where Savan is at, and I want to I give that a try. And Namora instantly dies to, I believe it was Isabella. She's another one that does, the burst damage that she carries is just huge. It's so under her, and we do have Lorzen's buff up on her to do more damage with the ultimate ability. So almost done with chapter 12, we got two more boards. And Laika goes down again. But Demora looks like he's gonna keep herself up. Hopefully we can get down the Brutus, which is immune right now. And Iran is gonna be able to take him down. So as soon as we hit the next chapter, we will get 10 more faction scrolls. 12-39. We've got to keep an eye out for Savannah because I want to try uh, try putting him towards the back. Or putting... <laughs> look, it just goes down there and just stuns her. Or just completely freezes her, which is awesome. Such, such an overpowered skill that I've never used on my main account. I think I only have him mythic, same as I do here. But if you look, anyone who's close to him, he's just, he just freezes everybody. And then he does have a lot of dodge. So I think especially with um, getting his signature item up even further. It looks like we got the bug with chapter 12 again. So we'll go ahead and we'll restart. I want to see how far it'll push because this is actually chapter 13 even though it shows we're not in chapter 13 but I found that out from the last account so now three of the four teams are into chapter 13 which is awesome I'm still waiting to unlock the stargazer that way we can get uh, we have our cards so do our first pull there and get our guaranteed hero which is going to be definitely a choice hero. I think I'm going to make sure I got the four copies of Eron so I can get him to Ascended when I need him. Um, and Laika as well. I know Laika is super strong. And I believe this is 13-3. And I think all, all of the accounts have had this kind of little bug. So we'll continue to see how far we can push through the chapter, even though we're on 1240. See, it says 13-4 up top. So we're moving through the chapter. Let's see how we do. Shamira pulled in, Veden pulled in, Grezel pulled in, and he just destroys all three of them. And I love the link they create because with Eron doing so much damage to the front target, is he is doing a ton of damage to the back target as well. Because they are linked. Oh, and it was Savannah. We didn't move him. 
So with those two linked together, all the damage to Sylvana, a lot of it's going into Isabella, which she goes right down with the Leica arrow. And this will pull. I love Naru, how he walks right into the middle, because we could have even pulled four targets with uh, Iran on that one. Namora gets a heal off. That's not really that that needed, but I think after this battle, I'm going to go ahead and restart it so we can see where we're at. And freezing up some targets. Like his arrow doesn't do anything because she completely missed. All right, so let's go ahead and restart this. All right, so back with the Wilder team, 13-8. So we just restarted everything so we could see it. I think this might be one with Sylvana. So I want to actually move the team around a little because I want Sylvana to go on Lorzen, and then I want to see if Iran will actually pull her right off, which he does. Exactly what I wanted to do with him. That way we can kind of uh, try to keep Lorzen alive on this one. I think that's going to be a way to counter some of the CC that's that she's getting because I believe most of these actually have, and even these battles, I mean, Lorzen up front might not be a bad idea just because we do have the charm, we do have the slow, and most of the enemies go right to Eron. That way, if we do have a Sylvana, uh, Eron will actually just pull them right off. And a Vork. Haven't used Vert very much. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, if anyone uses him. I know they gave him a pretty good buff. And people said he was uh, pretty good since, since the buff. I believe even his signature item that fires three bolts has gotten a lot better and a lot better review since they've reworked a majority of the Mauler team. Which is going to be interesting with patch 1.30, which we haven't seen yet. But if they're going to be reworking several other faction teams, because last time they did the Maulers, I'm not sure what the plan is for this one, but I'm sure we will see pretty soon. I don't think they'll have an update before the holiday just because it's so close. But it will be pretty soon. Looking forward to possibly a couple more dimensional heroes. And I'm hoping they do a faction or do a, a faction buff. And maybe Lorzen's not the best up front when you got a Savius. Yeah, took him out pretty quick there. Savius just stands there charmed and then he kills Brutus. The more is another one that I know the healing ability that she has is a little underwhelming even with a signature item unlocked doesn't seem to do the most healing um, but her ultimate is strong and her cc ability and again savvy is just take out lures and right off the bat because once the heal goes off even with the overhealing and the shield they pretty much can't don't do enough damage to uh, take the team down at that point. So we are right behind the Mauler team. I think three stages behind the Mauler team and about ten stages behind the Light Bear team. So getting the carry with the uh, signature items here. And it's very nice how it kind of planned out with the emblems having the the signature items and the emblems because now that Eron has his 10 plus item. I need the different emblem. So as I'm collecting the lower level emblems, uh, the next hero that I get to the mythic level will be the only one that I'll be using the items for. Because I know even where I was progressed in the game, by the time I did all the summons through most of the chapter before the signature items, before the emblems came out with the signature items. So if you've been playing the game for a lot longer, you kind of miss out on some of the stuff that these faction teams are picking up. So 
So super strong goalless in the front. But Prudus goes right down. Like his heel doesn't do much, but Iran turns him into an ice cube. So I believe this will tie us, or I think we we just passed the Mauler team. So catching up to the Light Bears, so now they are in second place. Which I knew they would be. So I'm hoping we get some movement on the Graveborn team, because now they are still and have been the entire game the only team that has been the furthest behind. So 3-18. I'm not even sure what heroes are really a strong counter against Iran. Because I know when I fought him in the campaign, he's very difficult to deal with. Especially if he's pulling over uh, two of your heroes. So I've actually put tanks with him. So when he pulls somebody over, he just pulls over like a Shamir or a tank. But then he does a slow which is very, uh, very devastating to the team. So I think if Lyca was a little higher, which I could probably put Lyca in the front and in front of Lorzen, but I'm just worried when we get a Savannah. He pulls out four more kills. Stage 13, 20. So once we're done with this push, we're going to go ahead and collect up all of our loot. And we're going to save it just like we did last time uh, for some summons at the beginning of the next video before we do our push. And look at the tornado just pushing everyone around. And he just stands there charmed, waiting for them to come and kill him. Four stages behind the light bear. Are the wilders going to take them over? Which super strong. I mean, just took their main DPS blend out right there from the start. Get a heal on Leica. And Leica is debuffing their defense, which I'd like to see making him do more damage too. I believe the little flame caster in the back, uh, Morella, if you've seen her... Um, the Firebird, the Phoenix attack. I'm fighting her now on the level that I am in Chapter 25, and she just toasts the whole team when it goes off. If I don't have Nara CC her or somebody. Two stages behind the Light Bear team. There's the slow, the knockback, and the freeze. And he's even charmed running back to take out Angelo. And Iran pulls them all right back to him and freezes them. Just so strong with his abilities. There's Merle again, and I knew Belinda was going to do a lot of damage. This is where the light bears got stuck. So hopefully if we can get some freezes out, which we did a lot of freezes. So we've got both the tanks there. We should have Angelo down there. Got him. So the Wilder team does take the lead. 13-25. So from where we started, and they just pulled in all four targets, leaving Isabella all there by herself. I believe that's about an entire chapter that they pushed through. With the Eron carry. But even the stats that he gets himself from the signature item being on level 12, 13. I think it went up to 13 with the emblems that I had. He's going to be the first one. I'm focusing everything that I have on him uh, getting his item to 30. Because his plus 30 for a signature item actually, I believe, doubles the freeze time. Which again is just kind of insane. Because right now I believe it's at two seconds, but if they're frozen multiple times, which they can be, uh, the new one increases it to four seconds. And I love when he pulls in just all four targets. 
It just seems so strong. Wow, we are almost done with chapter 13. If they push into 14, I'm going to be uh, pretty impressed with the Wilder team. To get a few freezes there, a couple freezes there. This one is going to be an RNG with the... Oh, that will be it. So unfortunately, 13-29 is where we get taken down. So they pass the Wilder team, they pass the Light Bear team. Let's go ahead and collect everything up. And we do get a free Wilder here, so we get a copy of Kaz. We get some uh, legendary items here. We do get our scrolls. So we have a lot of stuff to put in. So that'll do it for the, the Wilder team, which huge, huge push. Got everyone to 141, so we unlocked some more items, or unlocked some more levels. Unlocked the 141 ability for Lorzen, which is nice. Got Leica up to Legendary Plus, so huge push by the Wilder team. I mean, between coming from stage 12, I think 24, all the way to 13, 29, almost pushing through. Next push will take us into stage 14, or into chapter 14, so let me know in the comments what you think, who I should really be focusing on. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff here, and we just got that other Kaz. So we can actually get her up hero that I'd like to uh, like to use in the future. But as far as fodder, we only have Ogi and Arden. So right now, we're just going to be holding the team tight, but we did get Leica up, and we did get Eron's signature item. Uh, it started, I believe, at 9, got it up to, was it 13? Got it up to 14, which I believe we can actually get it up to 15. So some of the key levels like there, because that increased his movement speed, was plus 4. So defense got higher, attack. So super strong. Signature item level 15 already, easily carrying us through the campaign. Let me know what you guys think of the Wilder team, who I should be building. I think Gorvo is going to be a tank that I'm going to be swapping out pretty soon. Not sure if it's going to be with Cirrus. Not sure if it's going to be with Almas. But we'll have to wait and see. So let me know in the comments who you guys are using.